Hello there, it's Green and welcome to another video. So today we're building a very out of the ordinary build for me. Um, I usually build, you know, houses, traditional things and everything, but um, I was building a huge mansion which will come out next week and honestly I was losing it. <laughs> so I was like, I want to build something different and this lot on Strangerville, um, I wanted to build on it since Strangerville was released. And actually even before that, when um, EA Game Changers got early access. Uh, so I saw that lot and I'm like, when I firstly saw it, it was essentially a plane and underneath the plane there was a bunker. And I was honestly so impressed of how the build looked like. Um, imagining it, you know, that some sim guru build it. I'm like, this is so out of the ordinary for a sim guru build. So I'm like, oh, we can get creative here. We can build something fun. And I was so excited to build something here. But um, then the game changers started releasing their builds and one of them <laughs> was I. Uh, but the problem was I kept seeing so many people doing so amazing, so many amazing things in this build, like military camps, um, a crash build. There was a girl that did a crash build even from the first days, trailer parks, and I was stunned. And honestly, at that point, I felt really inaccurate, like my builds were crappy and I did not like them and I didn't really want to build on this lot. So I kept like this idea that whatever I'm gonna build, it's not gonna be as good as them, as theirs. Uh, so I was like, I, I don't, I don't really want to build here. I just want to completely ignore it. So you will notice I haven't built as much on Strangerville, and this is one of the reasons. So I was feeling very bored with traditional looking builds. I was like, I want to do something fun. And very recently, I did the car cafe, which I really enjoyed. Uh, but I felt like building something here and I decided to go with containers and um, a crash site mixed with containers and I named it Curious Collectors Club. I wanted to be words from C for some reason, I don't know why, uh, but honestly I had no idea what I was doing. I took major inspiration from so many amazing other simmers and I think it's kind of okay, like, if I compare it, like my build to them, I'm like, whatever. But I am happy because this is so out of my style and I really like how it looks. And I'm happy with how stupid and fun it was. I really enjoyed building it after I got, you know, those toxic thoughts out of my head that whatever I'm gonna build, it's not gonna be good enough. So, yeah. So the idea behind it is you essentially have various containers that they have merged them together somehow and there is a crash site and you have a pool where all the toxic waste from Strangerville goes and this is essentially a build or like a place where all the weirdos, let's call them that way, gather. So we have the library that I did when Stranger Really was released, when we had early access. Which in the basement we have like a small area where all the conspiracy theorists gather up. This is entirely different. This is essentially where people, I guess, infected with a disease and those, you know, who are not military and don't fall under those preppy categories gather. So we have various containers which each and every container has a different theme. If you saw at the beginning, I wasn't sure what I was doing. Well, I'm still not sure what I was doing. Um, so I tried very different styles to see how the build works. And I think it's overcrowded, but I kind of like it. Originally I went with way more containers and it was looking kind of chaotic. So I decided afterwards to essentially use less containers and still have that chaotic feel. But yeah, like 
I don't know what's going on on the outside, like don't ask me, so many things are going on. So as in the inside. So this is the first container which I knew what I wanted to do. I knew for two of them, actually I guess kind of three of them. And then I was like, I have no idea what to do. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing here. So this is a bar. And as you can see, like it is more of a pub, I guess, rather than a bar. And it has like games that you can play. It has foosball and it's all fun and good. And I guess it's more like for the grown ups of the weirdos, I guess. And up top, I'm not sure, I think it's the second thing or third thing that we're gonna do. Did I did it already? I'm not sure. Do I do it in the end? I don't recall. Uh, but anyways, up top, uh, on top of every container, we have uh, my nightclub, essentially, and I really like it. I think it looks so fun, like, on top of all the containers, and I'm happy with it. And next to this container, um, on a little bit, we're going to work on a karaoke bar. And after that, I had no idea what to do. Um, I knew that I wanted the build, or I guess what the containers have inside, to be something weird and strange and fun, and all of those things. So I was like, I wanted it to be for all the weirdos. So originally I felt like, let's do... Um, a kind of like how is it called um those buildings com community community centers let's do it as a community center which i searched online and i found so many things that you can do in community center like a gym and i wanted to do like a creativity area where they can go paint and all of that stuff and then we could do like another area for kids where essentially you can have your kids and go there and play like leave them and you can go drink but i feel like it, it doesn't really match the bill like downstairs you have a karaoke bar which also has the bubble machine and it's all good and fun but like let's be honest it has some bubbles uh it has some let's say pants uh light drinks and you have the karaoke, so it's entertaining. And the other side, you clearly have alcoholic drinks. So does it make sense to have on top of that um, stuff for kids and creativity? I really like the idea of doing a community center, but I felt like this wasn't the build for it, you know? Uh, so I kept the idea for a community center for a different build, like in the future. And I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do here. So yeah, you will see what I did in a bit. Uh, but the funny thing outside of here, which is, for me, it's like the young adult place to hang out. Um, you have the pool and you have the jumping board, which I loved it as an idea at first. And then I wanted, as you can see, to use some paintings, no paintings, murals, graffitis, and some to be unfinished because like, it, <laughs> We have a couple on buy mode, but like they're not that many. So I decided to, you know what, go on live mode and have my Sims paint a couple of neurals, which <laughs> it wasn't a good idea because it literally took two Sim days to paint five graffitis or something like that. Uh, but meanwhile, I have already set this build as nightclub. So as you can see, seems we're visiting it because i'm not sure i think it had all the requirements i guess it must have um and people went to dive from the diving board which i haven't really realized how it works i imagine it wouldn't really work um if you don't have a pool or if you have a pool the sim would simply go in the pool but you see this is not how animations work obviously uh, so, because the diving board is higher than the pool, like, what, two or three steps higher, um, the sims float and swim in the air. But that's not the problem. Uh, I kept having it, like, run on live mode. Can you not? I'm not sure, like, if you can hear, but outside there's dogs barking, there's, like, a car alarm going off. 
and I'm not sure if this make picks it up. The previous one definitely did, but I'm not sure if this one picks it up. We shall see while I edit it, whatever. I'm sorry if it does. Uh, but yeah, like so many people were visiting and going jumping and I could see them, it was so funny, like I sent some people the animation. They were all synchronized swimming in the air. And after a while they would disappear, which I was like, okay, they just kind of reset it or left. I don't know how, I didn't really care that much, to be honest. And like, it seemed days and seemed hours kept passing, people would just go there and disappear. And all of a sudden, um, I would just keep building, not building, I would keep painting. And, uh, how is it called, Katrina came and she dived. And after a while, Katrina died, and the Reaper came. And after a while, another sim came, I'm not sure who it was, I don't recall, and he died. And like, half the people would die, would jump there, and the other half would just disappear. And I'm like, cool, I made a nice death trap. <laughs> like, I didn't even know it, I didn't, I hadn't realized, like, because the first band would just disappear, I was like, eh, that's okay, that's okay, we don't have to worry, but clearly we did have to worry. Uh, like, I, I don't know <laughs> what to tell you, I'm not sure if you don't like it, I like it as a future, you know, there I think it adds something to the build, uh, so I really had it there, I'm like, that looks super cool. Uh, but like, if you do not want your sims to die and you do not want to reset them, or you do not want to have a death trap in a build, just simply delete the diving board. So here is one of the bars, I guess, that I decided to do, which was a comedy club. And after that, honestly, I ran out of ideas. I didn't know what other type of bars, nightclubs, um, I could do, because this is essentially considered if it was a separate build type it would be a lounge we have a karaoke bar and we have a bar and i could do a nightclub which is on top so i didn't really want to do a second nightclub so i'm like i don't know what else to do i really wanted to do a bowling area i feel like it would definitely match i've never built a bowling alley in the sims and every time that i'm i haven't even placed a bowling alley in a lot that's the funny thing, like bowling stuff is out for I don't even know how long and every time that I'm like, oh, that would look good here, that would make sense, I realize that the bowling alleys are huge and don't fit anywhere. So I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. And it's definitely on my build list. I started, I don't even know how many months ago, trying to do exterior for a bowling alley slash mall but I hated it. I think I even deleted it. And then I tried to do a bowling alley, like if that was two years ago or something, like one year ago, I'm not sure, uh, when I finished essentially building all the houses and apartments for city living, there is one that I haven't built up to today, which is the Go Go Land, how is it called? Like, you know, the karaoke club in um, the fashion district. Because I wanted to do it as a mall, and <laughs> I really wanted to have a bowling alley. But it didn't work, so I was like, okay, cool. And I haven't finished that, I, I think I've even bulldozed the thing, because I was like, I'm hating it. So, yeah, no bowling alleys for us. I don't know if I ever will build a bowling alley, eventually, hopefully, we shall see. Um, but yeah. I was like, I don't know what else to do, so I decided to do a movie theater, which is very chill and I think it looks kind of boho. I asked my boyfriend, because I was like, I, I, I don't think this matches the speed. It's like very boho and like very bohemian, I guess I should say. I'm like, it doesn't make sense here. He's like, no, no, it looks good. But I'm like, you tell that with everything. I saw you, that's good, I like that. Just be critical for once. He's like, oh, I like it, it makes sense. I'm like, whatever, I'm leaving it. I don't have any other idea what to do. And then we had this one, which I was like, I'm gonna do it as a storage space. But then I'm like, it doesn't make sense. This or what? And it turned into this weird mess, a storing mess, which I have no idea what it is, and I, again, I show it to my boyfriend, and I'm like, I don't know what this is, and he's like, oh, yeah, it makes 
sense, like all the weirdos like are here, so it makes sense for some of them to either have a storing space and you can have a secure door so no one knows what's going on there which I did add a secure door, it makes it kind of make sense so it's like a mystery but I don't know, it still doesn't make sense for me so it's like, okay, whatever, whatever, let's move on, let's move on so I really wanted to have the plane, like the whole plane crashed and I wanted behind, underneath, I guess, the plane, as the same thing did, to have a bunker. Which I haven't done any bunkers ever, because like, I don't know, like, what's the point? Uh, but with Stranger really it does kind of make sense. So I felt like, you know, with all the weirdos here, one of them has built a bunker for Doomsday. And it's so gross, it's so messy, and I'm so obsessed with it, I love it. Really love how the final result looks like. I don't know why he has two um, dining chairs, but he has. Oh, I think in one year I used the laptop, so it makes total sense. So yeah, it's very messy. It's very weird and I really like it. And here are the screenshots. There are a lot of the build because I really wanted to showcase different areas of the build. Because I think, as you can see, like it's very messy. So you can't really see what's going on for example here we have kind of like a yard sale if you want or like a flea market and this is the diving area as you can see and here behind i thought like some sort of area where people could theoretically live um and here you can see the karaoke bar with the bubble machine and on the other side we have the normal bar which it's very messy, but I really like it. Like it looks kinda industrial and all of those things together and they make no sense, but I love them. Uh, so yeah, you can see we have loads, loads of different rooms and two of them, d definitely for me, they still don't make sense. Like this, the comedy club does make sense. The, how's it called? The movie theater and the storage room is like, what the hell were you doing? I don't know. So. Yeah, this is the bunker, the other thing was the entrance to the bunker and then you will see some top-down shots. And if you want to download this build, uh, you can do that by clicking the link in the description or by searching my username in the gallery, which is the exact same as here. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you will have an amazing day and take care. Bye!